Welcome to this video where we will show you how you can use VKML from your Google Sheets to add machine learning predictions to your data. Imagine you run a wine shop and store your sales report in Google Sheets. It contains the characteristics and the total sales of each wine you have. When you must choose new wines to be added to your wine chart, would you like to know which ones will sell better just like this? But maybe your Google Sheet has a list of patients in a clinic study and would like to find which are alike to apply certain treatments. Similarly, if you run a business, it's important spotting the groups of customers that might be interested in promotions of some of your products. Now, all these and more will be possible using the BigML add-on. BigML extracts the rules that determine which wine will be best sold or which users' profiles are similar, just from your own data. Thanks to the add-on, you'll be able to use these rules to predict the behavior in new cases from your Google Sheets. To show how this can be done, let me walk you through the process of building a model in BigML. Once you register in BigML as a new user, you land in the development area where some toy sources are ready for you to play with. You make your choice and pressing the down arrow button can instantly create a dataset from any source. The dataset summarizes all the statistical information and is the starting point to create your models or clusters. The model will contain the rules to predict from your new data what are the expected values of your objective fields. In this case, the objective is to predict a number, namely the total sales of a new kind of wine. We'll predict that objective based on a bunch of data that describes the prior total sales in a wine shop. In other cases, your objective will be to predict to which class an instance of your data belongs to. For instance, the species that the flower belongs to according to its petal and sepal measurements. In a different kind of modeling, clusters, your interest is finding the similar cases in your data, how they group together, which features they do share, and which they don't. This will help you analyze and take action on each group separately. Imagine a group of patients in a clinic test presenting different blood analysis and symptoms or client segmentation for ad targeting. Let's see how we can integrate BigML in your Google spreadsheets to predict on your daily data. When installed, BigML add-on will appear under the add-ons menu. The application will ask for some permissions to handle your spreadsheet data and your session information. It will ask for your BigML credentials and remember them from then on. Remember that you can obtain and revoke these credentials at any time in BigML. Pressing the Engines button in the top right menu, a pop-up will show them to you and we will copy that into the form. Once they are saved, we can list our models by pressing the List button. We choose the Development mode because we created our models in that environment and we can see the two models available. Our spreadsheet has three examples. Let's start by determining the species that certain flowers belong to according to their petal and sepal width and length. You see that in our data, the species column is partly filled in, but we would like the model we built to predict the ones that don't have this information. Then we choose the range of data that we want to predict and press the predict button. As you can see, the empty cells are filled with the values predicted by the model, and the new column labeled confidence is appended. This new column contains a number between 0 and 1 that gives the degree of confidence that the model associates to the prediction, meaning that 0 is null and 1 is certainty. The colored cells are the ones that contain predicted values. Each class has its own associated color and confidence is also colored from red, meaning low confidence, to green, meaning high confidence. The same can be applied to the wine's total sales example. Choose the corresponding model from the list and select the range in the spreadsheet that you want to autofill with the model predictions. Again, the predictions appear in the column total sales that was the objective column in your model. The prediction is made by running through the model the data in each row labeled with the headers in the first row of your selection, or if no value in this row matches the fields in the model in the first row of the sheet. If neither contains your headers, 
then the input data is considered to be ordered as it is described in the model associated fields array. This means that it's important to ensure that headers in your spreadsheet match exactly the ones in your model. In your third example, we used the existing cluster to group a bunch of observations from a diabetes clinic test. Selecting input data and pressing predict, two new columns are added. The first one labels the cluster each row is placed in. The second one gives a kind of distance from the values in the row to the point that is considered the central point of each cluster, called centroid. In this metric, closer points are similar points. This kind of model cannot predict rows that have empty values in any of its numeric features. That's why two of the rows got no predictions. And this is all it takes to complete your spreadsheet's information using machine learning powered by PicML. Just give it a try and enjoy.